are magic schools real? Are things like Hogwarts and Harry Potter, is that real? Are there real schools like that in the real world? Yes. Yes, there are. Greetings, my name is Blaze, and today I wanted to talk about magic, spirituality, and different types of paths that are open to magic and spirituality. So a lot of individuals seem to be drawn to polytheism, which is multiple gods and goddesses, or different revival movements, new age movements, and different types of paths. A lot of them are interested in magic. And I don't mean trickery and stage magic, but I mean actual real magic, working with actual energy, working with nature and natural forces, primal energies, psychic abilities, things like that. So the question comes down to this. Are magic schools real? Are things like Hogwarts and Harry Potter, is that real? Are there real schools like that in the real world? Yes. Yes, there are. So I'm going to talk about a few of the ones that I'm aware of. And before I do that, I want to talk about why you would want to join a school. So a lot of folks want to start practicing, but they don't understand how. They don't know how to get into it. So they're like, well, how do I do magic? What is magic? So they'll buy books, and you'll find books by all sorts of authors. Uh, Llewellyn Productions has a great deal of books that are worth checking out. But they also have some books that are kind of, uh, kind of so-so or iffy. But, you know, it's, it's a book. It's, you know, an author's opinion on how you should practice. So back in the, uh, back in the day, actually even before my time, not that I'm an expert or anything by any means, but there was some individuals who were well known as being like occult leaders that helped to spread out magic mysticism and arcane type of practices. There are different paths such as modern druidry or Wicca or witchcraft, the Hermetic Order of Mages or Thelmia, I believe it's pronounced. Anyway, there's a lot of these different revival movements, but they were pieced together by some core individuals who practiced. So some of these actually relate to some of them. Some of them do not. So let's go ahead and talk about the five schools that I'm aware of that actually teaches magic. And the reason that I'm bringing these up and recommending them is if you do want to practice, I highly recommend learning from other individuals. And I think that if you're solitary and you don't have a group or coven or a different group, a grove, whatever the case may be, depending on the tradition that you're interested in, to just be aware that you don't have to be a solitary and kind of do guesswork that you can actually learn from a tradition that has been alive for a while and has been developed for a while. And then you have others in that group. Some of them, a lot of them have online communities or forums or chat groups so that you can connect with others around the world. Again, it comes down to personal preference. And I mean, if you really want to be solitary, you can. So just be aware. All right. So the first website I actually wanted to share with you is gone. And it's actually realmagicschool.com. So this was originally a website put up by Isaac Bonowitz. Looks like it no longer exists. I at least wanted to bring it up because you might have heard of it. And it was actually Isaac's attempt to bring about and show real magic. The next website, actually the next four websites, actually do still exist. So the next website that I'm going to show you is the one that I have actually joined. And this is druidry.org. So this is the Order of Bards, Ovates, and Druids. They have a online distant learning program. So anywhere in the world, you can actually order their stuff and they'll send it to you. Now here's the nice thing about Obod. And maybe I'll do a future video exploring a little bit more about the stuff and resources you get. You can kind of see in the background here these manila folders over here. Each one of those folders, this is just the CD version of it. 
So I get a CD per guers, which is Welsh for a lesson. And then I also get books and supplemental materials and things like that. So you, you, you'll get like a book of rituals and all sorts of stuff in great detail. You get a tutor and access to a form. You get so much stuff. The best part about it is there are three different grades. As you go through these different lessons, you're, you're building up through each of the different grades and expanding upon your knowledge. Obviously, a druid has all the training from a bard and an ovate, and an ovate has all the bardic training, and a bard is the entry way because you want to study the old stories and the lore because it's a revival movement. It's neo-druidry. It's inspired by the past, but it's a modern movement. As I understand it, it was started by Ross Nichols, and Ross Nichols, I believe, was part of the ancient druid order, as I believe was the name of the group. Because it was part of, like I said, it was part of a revival movement. And then Philip Cargom took over as the chosen chief. And recently, Ema Burke took over as the chosen chief, actually just this year uh, that I'm posting this video. Each of the lessons are designed to at least be done for a week. Give yourself a week to really think about it and dive into it. And it's enough lessons and teachings, enough guersi for one lesson per week for an entire year per grade. Yeah, like this is a lot of material. Like if you truly want to study, this is really gonna go into in depth and help you learn. The next one, I don't have any personal experience with. This is actually a group that was started by Isaac Bonowitz. So it's possible that realmagic.com became ADF. And I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation, but ADF stands for Andrachtfein, I believe, is the way it's pronounced. This is an actual religion. So versus Obad, which teaches it as a spirituality, this does teach it as a religion. They also do distant training, and they have a variety of different classes and workshops available as well. It's priced a little bit differently than Obad is, where Obad is you'll pay per month. This, I believe, you pay for, per year. And uh, they have a lot of resources available to them as well. They'll suggest different authors and stuff in their community. And they will show you different ways to, again, incorporate modern Druidry, a revival movement, neo Druidry today. Great site to check out. That's ADF.org. Next one on the list, again, I don't have any direct experience with, is actually Gray School of Wizardry. Gray School of Wizardry also has a distant learning program as well. The individual who started this was Oberon Zell Ravenheart. And he's the headmaster of the school. Again, it looks like it's got a lot of great materials that teaches you all the fa foundation building blocks for learning magic. Again, I have not actually signed up for or done Gray School of Wizardry, but it is a real school out there. It is grayschool.net. The last one I want to show you, especially if you're interested in witchcraft, is Laurie Cabot. Laurie Cabot actually has classes on witchcraft. And she'll break them up to where you can register for individual classes here. So as an example, on her website, lauriecabot.com, you have tarot, or tarot, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And then you have witchcraft 1, witchcraft is a science, witchcraft 2, witchcraft is an art. So you can kind of sign up for individual courses and stuff. So she also does distant learning as well. So yes, magic schools do exist yes you can learn from other individuals and you have a variety of options there's probably other ones out there as well these are just an example of four of the ones that i'm aware of that i would recommend you at least check out and look into so what are your thoughts do you think that the modern magical schools are worth checking out or getting into do you think yes join a magic school no don't join a magic school and if you do think you should join a magic school have you actually joined any of these four? And what were your experiences that you had with them? Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to thumb up, like, and subscribe, and more videos coming your way.